Hey everybody and welcome back to Super Mario RPG. Last time we defeated Bellom in the Carol Sewers and he gave us kind of an ominous warning. What's that all about? Well, let's find out. But first Mario has a level up. And he learned Super Jump. So again, always check your stats on the, uh, on the power and the S to see which if they give you extra points. And that one did. Balloon must have been lying when he said water would come gushing out of here. Uh, Mario, do you hear something? Or is it just me? Water! Here it comes! Quick, Mario, hit the button before we're washed away! Oh no! Molo! Oh. Welp. That happened. And we get launched into this giant waterfall. This is the Midas River course. Want a crash course on it? Sure. Um, just going to check something real quick. Okay. You'll start off first at the falls. Use the control pad to move left or right and score coins. Push B to make a little headway against the flow. Along the way, there are a few traps. As to what will happen, we'll just keep that a surprise. Now off you go! Okay, so... By swimming up, it'll help you grab more of these coins. The thing about these coins, except for the frog coins, of course. Um, the thing about these coins is they're not... Uh, you can't use them as if they were regular coins. They only work for a specific uh, purpose. And those holes there lead to hidden areas. And we want to come in this one first. Check out this scene. We've got a paratrooper and a little bandit guy. And some piranha plants. Oh my gosh, she stole that flower. I want that flower. So does the bandit. <laughs> and they just pass the flower along. Oh my gosh. Who's going to end up with it? Who's going to grab it? It's more... <laughs> After all that, Mario is the one that ends up with it. Of course, you get deposited into another section of the waterfall. Now, unfortunately, you can't get all the items in one pass. There's one item that... Um, like, I think it's a frog coin that I'm going to be skipping. Uh, just because I'm not going to be able to get to it. But we want to come down here as well. And this another bandit having a bit of a, a problem. We got that flower. Oh my gosh, those swamps. Oh, he missed one. He got hit by the other one. Poor guy. And yeah, unfortunately, you can't make your way back up the waterfall. You can uh, push your way against it for a little bit, but you know, you can't. You can't do everything. Now for the barrel jumping event. Need some pointers? Sure, why not? Time your jumps and grab coins along the way. Jump onto the next barrel before they collide. Miss it and you'll change course. Well, it looks like you're ready, so I'll send you on your way. Almost forgot to tell you, leap over the fish that pop up or you'll lose coins. So, just kind of see, look ahead, see if the um, coin trail is continuing on the way you're going or not. Sometimes it, it's not very apparent, so you just have to, yeah, see there, I, I got tricked. Whoa, Mario almost fell off. Whoops, I didn't jump quick enough. This is not going well. There we go. And yeah, definitely watch for the fish. Do not want to be hit by a fish. Uh, yes, I guessed correctly. A lot of the time it's just guesswork. There are certain patterns that you'll notice uh, end up being very noticeable 
as to which path you're supposed to take. And we ended pretty good there. I'm ha I'm okay. I'm okay with that. I'm happy. And we landed on that guy's head. Wasn't that fun? You got 63 coins. Trade the coins you get from Midas River for frog coins. As a first time only bonus, I'll give you one frog coin for 60 of your coins. If you didn't know, frog coins are the green ones and Tadpole Pond's got more info on them. You got 63 coins, so you'll get one frog coin for your trade-in. I'll hold your three extra coins. Here's something I picked up. You can keep it for good luck. We got a knock-knock shell. And if you want to go back and do it again, you can try your luck again. If you get on the trampoline, it'll only cost 30 regular coins. So you can do that. I'm not going to. I am going to save, though. Because saving is always good. And now we can move on to Tadpole Pond. And this is this area has some of my favorite music in all of the game. It it, it just I love this music. Although it's not right now there's not much to it. But uh You'll see what happens in a, in a little bit. Hi, can I help you? Mallow, it's you. We've heard all about your adventures with Super Mario. You guys beat up Balloon, right? You know about that? See, Mario, the waterways of the world bring news to us here. That's why Grandpa knows all the news that's fit to hear. Are you really THE Super Mario? Hey, everybody, you'll never guess who's here. He's the real thing, but he doesn't look anything like I thought he would. They do say he can jump better than a froggy. I wonder if it's only a rumor. And now we gotta demonstrate. We do a little flip. Make all the people happy. Well, Grasshopper, what's new? Grandpa, Mario's been helping me. I know, child. That rainstorm we just had, that was you, wasn't it? Oh. Ouch. Watch it up there. You're supposed to make me look like I'm floating here, okay? Wow, he's really floating. But what's that string coming out of his back? And what's that cloud-looking thing? Welcome. So you are Mario, yes? I am Frogfucius. You have come to seek wisdom from me, have you not? I've been waiting for you. Yes, old wise people can often give good advice. Oh, it's a Lakitu. He's being held up by a Lakitu the whole time. But how rude of me. Let's get more comfortable. Come along and we'll talk. Clear. Full reverse. Don't just float there. Make yourselves useful. Form a bridge for Mario. And yes. Cue the steel drums. Gosh, I love that part. Yes, come into my sanctuary and partake of my wisdom, children. Let's see. That smithy character that appeared at Bowser's Keep. He is quite formidable, yes? And Mario, you wish to rescue the princess quickly, do you not? But oh, if only you knew the truth. Toadstool is no longer there. And the little tadpole's floating by. What? Wait, what? Patience, young one. Let me explain. Here is what happened. You were rescuing Toadstool from Bowser's Keep. After defeating him, and just when you were about to free the princess, you heard a loud crash and saw a huge sword split the sky. Kaboom! Whoosh! Out of the blue. The shock sent the three of you flying. Bowser and Toadstool are still lost somewhere out there. Now... You are worried about the princess, but first you need to take care of Smithy. His underlings are wreaking havoc in our world. Mac, whom you defeated at Mushroom Kingdom, was one of them. More will be coming. Grandpa, I almost forgot to tell you something. We found a star in the castle at Mushroom Kingdom. Do you know why it was there? A star, eh? Most interesting. This may sound illogical, but I believe shooting stars can grant wishes. And now more than ever, I believe they will play a vital role in the fight against Smithy. Was that too much to absorb? Would you like a recap? No. It's quite a situation we have on our hands, isn't it? 
Wow, everything sounds so dire and serious. I guess Mac wasn't only the f uh, was only the first of many, Mario. Some of them will make Bowser seem nice. Mallow, you speak as if these things do not concern you. You will accompany Mario on his adventure as well. What? Grandpa, what are you talking about? I'm only a simple tadpole. This adventure isn't for me. Uh-oh, the music's fading. Mallow, my boy, I've kept this from you until now. But you are... Not a tadpole. Whoa! Say what? Shocking. I was sitting here one rainy day enjoying a snack of crickets when I happened to see a basket floating down from the falls. I peeked inside and saw a little baby staring right back at me. The name Malo was written on his belt. I felt sorry for the little bundle of puff and took him in to raise as my own grandchild. He had powerful magic and I knew he was more than a piece of fluff. I thought, surely this child must be from some far-off land. Grandpa, you mean I'm not a tadpole? <sighs> oh. oh gosh. Mallow, now is not the time to cry. Go with Mario on his adventure and find your real family. Your real mother and father are out there somewhere. Hey, Mario. The boy's magic is sure to come in handy on your adventure. You'll take him along, yes? Grandpa, I won't cry anymore. I'll go on this adventure with Mario and find my real family. Then it is settled. You must embark on your adventure immediately. First, go to Rose Town, where they need your help. <sighs> it will be quiet around here with Malo gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Oh! That's right! I had forgotten all about it! I will give you something for the cricket pie you brought back. I know. You shall have the, f the staff I used when I was Mallow's age. The froggy stick will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. Yay! Okay, so now we've got a couple things we can do. Uh, we can exchange Mario's hammer for the knock-knock shell. New type of weapon. Um, and Molo gets his first uh, weapon, the froggy stick. I'm going to unequip the um, antidote pins. I'm going to have him take the wake-up pin. I'll give Mario the true form pin. Okay, and we're good to go. Go to Rose Town now, Mallow. Luck be with you. And we get to hop on the heads of these tadpoles. So if we come over here, a couple tadpoles will show up. Welcome to the Frog Coin Emporium. You're a first timer, aren't you? Listen up. The green coins you find periodically are frog coins. Accumulate them, and you can buy items at Tadpole Pond. There's not much that I really want here, though. Yeah, I can do without. Welcome to the juice bar. Are you a card member? Even Todovsky has a membership here. Sorry, you're limited to this menu if you don't have a current membership card. We can buy a froggy drink, which recovers 30 HP for everybody in the party. I'm not going to, to purchase that, though. What I am going to do is I'm going to come down here and talk to this little guy. I've got this dream of becoming a composer. I want to be as famous as Todovsky. My favorite song? It's Frog Future Suite number 18. So la mi re do re do re. Todovsky's fond of it too. Alright, so that's an important clue. So you'll notice, play notes by jumping on the tadpoles. Let's hear your melody. You'll notice there's a staff formed in the water. Okay. Uh, if we come over here, we can talk to the composer Todovsky. I am trying to create my next masterpiece, but I've got composer's block. You want a music lesson from moi? Yes. Let's start by reading notes. See the five lines? Between the second and third lines from the top lies Do. 
keep going up and the notes are do re mi go down and you'll get do ti la so fa do ti la so fa you're on your way to composing so you remember the tune that um that tadpole gave us we can put that in right now when the tadpole lines up with the liner space that you want press the b button and wait for him to get there do re ooh i almost missed that one up okay and that's frog fuchsia suite number 18 that's it this is the melody i've been looking for thank you for the inspiration please take this as a token of my gratitude and we get an alto card for our work. If I ever need help with my compositions again, I'll look for you here. Until then, adieu. So he's going to take off for a while. We can come back here and check in on this place to see if he um, he shows back up. He's not going to show up back up for, for a while. Until fairly later in the game. But now that we have the alto card, we come back over to the juice place. Ah, an auto card holder. What would you like? There's a new item that we can purchase, and it's the elixir, which recovers our party's HP by 80 instead of just 30. You know what? I am going to buy a froggy drink. Just one, though. And that'll do it for um, Tadpole Pond. Next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG, we'll continue on to Roseway. I'll see you then.